today. They're gonna be here tomorrow talking about their trousers. It's a big, big day here in Flushing. It was 20 years ago today, well, nearly, 18 years ago this month, the Godfathers of Tribute Bands, the original Prefab 4, released their first album. Yes, the now legendary Ruttles, All You Need Is Cash album, still occupies a distinguished place in the history of music parody. A long time on and Russellmania is returning to the world once more with the release of the band's long-awaited album of previously unreleased material entitled Archaeology. Take two. It begins with an A and it's got an ology on the end. Actually, I wanted to call it analogy, but somebody said Americans won't understand what an analogy is. <laughs> The Ruttles were created back in 1978 by Monty Python's Eric Idle and the musical genius of Neil Innes. Together they created the mythical band as a device to parody the Beatles story. The project spawned an album and a cult classic spoof documentary. I mean, you said about, you know, the, the anthology being released, John. Um, was there any feedback from um, any of the, the Beatles about doing it? I mean, did you run it by them? Well, Neil was fairly pally with George. Um and has been through the years, and George was quite keen on it, wasn't he? Yeah, and George said, why not? It's all part of the soup. We're the lumpy right? bits yeah, in the soup. The fatty bits you leave on the side. <laughs> yeah. There were the rattles on the TV with girls chasing them. We thought, this can't be that difficult, so we thought we'd have a go. I have always thought in the back of my mind that cheese and onion. Somebody went up to John Lennon in the street and said, what do you think of the Ruffles? And he sang cheese and onions all the way through it. I'm free to be whatever I, whatever I choose, and I'll sing the blues if I want. I'm free to be whatever I want. Oasis, of course, are thought to have taken their main inspiration from the Beatles, but how was it that you ended up co-writing whatever? What's the story there? Well, yeah, I mean, I wrote a song called How Sweet to Be an Idiot, which goes... How sweet to be an idiot. And that sounds a bit like, I'm free to be whatever I... And somebody pointed out to him, and uh, so they settled out of court for something like 25%, which I share with EMI. The Ruttles were the most influential band ever. I mean, the only way that I got to the point where I'm at today as a musician was from being influenced by the Ruttles. Tell us about the video for Shangri-La, because you've got a few pop pals in that one as well, haven't you? Hey. Ooh, Ooh, oh, 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 hey. A plethora of stars. A lot of people turned up, you know. Um, there's Eartha Kitt, there's Benny King. Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Peter Gabriel. And Bette Midler, the Bette Midler and Whoopi Goldberg lookalikes, where you wouldn't know it wasn't them. Honestly, it was uncanny. Mm -hmm. He went for Liz Taylor. He thought it was Liz Taylor. Yeah, well, it was... And he just would not have it for two days. He, he was saying, I'm sure it was her. <laughs> we were saying, Neil, it's a lookalike. He's saying, well, what it... but I said this, and he wouldn't have it. We did get by with a lot of help from our friends. Um, and it's, uh, it is definitely more fun being a Ruttle than a real Beetle or a real Oasis. Get up and go. Get back together again. I hope not. <laughs>